Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this continuation of um, the previous video that we did um, on data manipulation. We ended on step number 23 and now we pick it up from step 24 and we are going to create a data entry form to include all fields from the trees table. So come back um, on this, um, on this. Um, so we close the relationships that we have there, um, save the layout, okay. So we're going to um, we're going to create a form. So from form wizard, okay, and we're going to create uh, get all the fields from the trees um, 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 table and go to next, and then we're going to choose what type of table that we want, either justified or we want it to be um, data sheet, okay? We want it to be um, tabular or want it to be column. I'll go for column. Okay, so next and modify this design and finish it. So we have our table. We can preview it um, in form design view and you see that we have uh, our table um, very well. Okay. Next, we we'll go back to um, this one. We're told to add um, the following record um, to the table using our form. Okay, so we're going to add CL1, then set of Lebanon, and then we're going to have um, S um, or L and 2014, and we're going to verify this for any entry errors. Okay, so go to form view and go to new form. So this button down here um, creates a new form. So um, we're going to create um, so CL1. And then next is cedar of Lebanon. Um, Lebanon should be capital. And then um, we should have SOL and 2014. Okay. So this one has been entered. So save it. Um, next one says check your data for entry errors so you can go ahead and do that for any entry um, um, errors so place into your evidence document screenshot showing this data in your form so you're going to get a screenshot of this and place it in your evidence document make sure it is on the record that you just entered and place it in your evidence document okay Okay, so let's just resize this so that it actually um, I'll crop it so that it fits. I don't even need to crop it, <laughs> but I just wanted it to fit on the same thing. Okay, so um, next step 26, identify three features that could be added to the form to make it easier to use. Enter your answers onto the slide with the title features of form um, design in the presentation you created in task two. Okay, so we're now going to examine our, our 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 form and see other things that we can add to this form. So right now you see that the form is um, one, it is there's so much space around here, um, it's not filling up space. Two, we see that um, we don't have the title, the heading, and then the um, you see now also that um, the labels, that is the names, they're not really giving us the ideas. Just three ID, three type. What is this? We need to have some sort of instructive labels. Okay. Also, there's too much space on the ID when it just uses maybe three to five characters. Um, there's so much space also on the location code, so we can resize some of this stuff so that we uh, we we do that. We can also add some navigations. Of course, by default, Access has some navigations down here, but we can put some navigation um, for people around here so that they can. So these are some of the features that you can look around um, on a form and be able to um, um, to evaluate that. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, open our PowerPoint. Okay, so features of the form design, 
uh, you can add more slides if you wish okay so I'm going to delete this one that says add more slide if you wish <laughs> and I'll just have like that so feature number one okay let's let's read through so it says um, identify three features that could be added to the form okay so let's think about the features that could be added okay um, so um, let's see um, where are we here so one we can add um, good navigation buttons navigation buttons okay so we can add um, add rather navigation buttons um, we can also um, include instructive labels okay instructive labels this also um, will um, will make our our work look neat. Okay, um, users when they come to fill in the the form, one of the things that they will one of the things that they will um, they will come across is maybe something like enter the ID. That sounds more fun. That sounds more thing. Um, you can also um, include maybe a debt picker if you want okay um, I don't know if access does have debt pickers uh, most programming languages do have debt pickers <laughs> okay so but you can have something like combo box or drop down menus maybe drop down menus yeah drop down menus okay so you can have um, um, menus you can have um, well resized well resized text boxes okay by that we mean um, we shouldn't have maybe a text box which only has um, three letter text and it is running across the screen like I said in there the 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 other one so this is it well sized text boxes or field spaces okay um, we're only told to put three features but there are other things that you guys can can put uh, things like um, check boxes um, check boxes depending with what data you are entering check boxes <laughs> My typing is bad. Check boxes, um, things like radio buttons. Okay, and many, many, many other things that you're supposed to, um, you can add to your form. Okay, so that is that. So placing your evidence document. Um, oh, we are task twenty-seven now. Make three appropriate improvements to the design of your form. Okay, so let's go ahead. So some of the things that we can move, uh, make. So I'll put something like um, um, instructive labels. I'll put um, um, navigation buttons, and I'll put. I'll do this one. Just three of them. So make three appropriate improvements. So I'll put these three. So let's start with navigation buttons. Or instructive labels let's start with instructive labels so uh, go to design view and here I would say please I would say enter ID of the tree okay it makes more sense enter ID of the tree then here you can say what is the type of tree here you can say oh um, yeah what is the type of tree where is the location or oh, <laughs> what's the location code what's um the location code okay and then when was it mute when was it milled? Okay, so all this uh, will be instructive. So you can also put um, you can also put 
the debt I mean the combo box okay the combo box or drop down for the debt so that you can select the debts that will be there okay people just need to select the debts so let's view it and that looks somewhat interesting okay so that's one improvement that we've been able to make the next improvement that we can make um, has to do with um, like I said with um, um, let's see so just drop it down a bit then we need to let's go to our PowerPoint we need to resize the field boxes so resize these they're just too wide so just maybe resize them like this I'm hoping that the text is not going to be cut so this one will be like that and layout and then let's scroll through and we see that all our text is not being cut in any way okay so that should be somewhat fun um, then we're going to include some navigation buttons um, either at the bottom or at the right um, so let's go back to our design view okay do you want to open the table as read only either an object bound okay um, is open mm, or another user has the table open okay so I don't know if um, okay so let's go back here um, there's one more um, so we've redone this resizing of the text boxes or field spaces um, you can also um, you can also put buttons so we're going to insert some buttons at the bottom there so go to design and you're going to be picking up some buttons so pick up this button and this one I'm going to call it a previous record okay so go to previous record and go to next whether you want to use a picture or you want to use the text which is like that so text is better because somebody can easily read so previous record and the command will be previous so finish it and you'll see that it goes to previous record get another button um, this one we're going to go to go to first record go to next record okay so we're going to use text as well and command will be next so there are other buttons that you can use guys um, I'll just use these two um, for going thing you can add a new record if you want okay let's just use maybe one more button for adding a new record you can so record op operation add new record and add record and then you can say add okay so so I have these three buttons there are more buttons that you can add to your form to make your form um, interesting okay um, because of time I think I'll, I'll just add these three but there are more features that you guys can add um, so preview it inform view and you see you can move around um, the fields and then you can also add a new field I don't want to click there because it will create a blank record at the end there so I'll just leave at that but if you click on add record it will actually create space for more for a new record okay so let's go to the question paper I don't know how much time I've used in this video um, evaluate the improvements made you've made um, okay evaluate the improvements you've made place your evaluation on the slides with the title evaluation of my form created okay so let's go ahead and make an evaluation of um, this one so evaluation of my form so I'll delete the first line and I'll put the evaluation here so the evaluation really is based on um, the improvements that you've made okay um, in the previous one so I'll start with the navigation I added um, navigation buttons navigation buttons to make it easier for 
um, navigation buttons navigation so navigation buttons to make it easier for the user to navigate between records okay I also changed the field sizes to um, avoid misusing too much space or misusing or using too much space let's just say to avoid using too much space the other thing that we changed I made the labels instructive that is for easy instructions for easy entry of data okay so this is what I changed um, but you guys you can go I added a combo box for easy selection of dates and stuff like that okay right so the next thing that we're supposed to do is to save the presentation with the slides we have created and we need to uh, print this presentation with two slides to a page and so make sure that we have um, entered name center number and candidate number on our presentation slides so let's go ahead so we have name and candidate number on each of the slides and we go to file and print and then you're going to go to print um, two slides uh, two slides rather okay so print two slides to a page and that's what you should have and go ahead and um, print um, this one so I don't know if I should print anyway <laughs> I think I won't print um, okay so next step 30 and step 30 I'm gonna have to do it um, on the next um, I'll do it on the next um, video